So me as a salesperson, I know what I know what I'm doing. I'm following up. I'm offering free information. Um, people ask me a question, I respond. No, there's no, you know, nobody too small or too high that I don't uh, bother with. Right now, how do you get the clients? What is like, where are the channels you get the new leads from? Um, the majority of the clients come to me through my personal accounts because of the reach that I have. So it's more on a, um, I would say it's more based on content marketing. I have all the same social media accounts for, via um, Tracy Eau Claire. So Tracy Eau Claire is my name, obviously. And so I have all of the social media accounts, which I find you get better reach out of your personal accounts, especially on Facebook um, and LinkedIn than you do with the business accounts. So my, so I have a network. I have a pretty large network because of my personal accounts under Tracy Eau Claire. So I pretty much consider myself a brand as well. Okay, so how do you publish content through the business and through your personal brand? Do you distinguish there? Is it different content? Uh, we're still figuring that out. Like I said, we're going to rebrand. So um, we're going to change that website. And I haven't decided whether or not I want to put blogs on there or not. I might start a, a different blog site for talkmedia.com or well for talk media so I might have talk media's website where it's just like an agency this is who we are this is what we do um, and then have another um, site for blogging I haven't quite decided but typically what we do is my copywriter will write content for talk media and then I have my own private blog site which is like everything about Tracy Eau Claire so that um, I'm not usually directing people there, but I write on there often, and that's tracyoclair.com. And so I publish content there, and then I just keep all my social media stuff up to date so people can follow my story. Mm -hmm. There's two different audiences. There's the audience of the people that I know, that's you know Tracy Oclair, and then the audience of the business professionals through the talk media, uh, and that's mostly through the email list. So I get a lot of good response out of sending out my mm. 2,500 emails um, or to the list that I have for talk media. So it's, a, it, it's obviously a mix in the strategy. Mm. What are the other methods you use to get clients? I mean, do you have any, any other things that you're applying? Right now, it's more because the state of Maine is very little. <laughs> in population but very large in land so I already have a really large contact list and and I don't and I, like I said I'm not aggressive right now in getting new clients mm -hmm. and we, because I don't really focus on sales um, it just comes to me how does it happen that it just comes to you and are you natural in building providing content to to your network or is it that you're in a marketplace where there are too few suppliers, or how does it come? So because because I keep a strong, strong contact base, and I'm always constantly um, following up with people and spreading my network. So um, so me as a salesperson, I know what I know what I'm doing. I'm following up. I'm offering free information. Um, people ask me a question, I respond. No, there's no you know nobody too small or too mm -hmm. high that I don't uh, bother with that I, and um, and then just you know being everywhere like I think the the benefit of social and email marketing is that you can be everywhere or you appear to be everywhere like people see your name they see you know my company brand and they're like oh my god I can't turn around the corner without seeing your name yeah. and then you have these people that are you know on social where they're they have nothing to do with business. They may be like my elementary school friend or whatever it is, and somebody's like, hey, I need a WordPress site. Do you know anybody? You know, on some group that has to do with like, you know, some kind of religious orphanage or whatever it is. And, and these people are just, they're ambassadors for me, and they just go out and they're like, hey, talk to Tracy Eau Claire and, um, you know, tag me and this and that. So I get calls out of the blue all the time. And then any time that I talk to somebody, it seems like they're like, 
I've been meaning to call you <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> so it might just be that, you know, that email that I send out, it's an email newsletter or, um, and I, and I find that it typically is more of the email newsletter, but it's also, um, you know, I'm touching base with these people on a regular basis mm -hmm. in different ways. So, uh, Facebook groups, for instance, there's a couple professional Facebook groups that I'm involved in and I'm always constantly sharing information there. Um, and, and not in a fake way. It's, I'm passionate about my marketing. I'm passionate about marketing communication and different in tech and different ways to reach people. So when I see something that I like, I like to share it because I'm a happy go lucky sharing type of person. So I'll share it to, you know, the different groups that I feel um, would benefit from it. And um, and I think people really appreciate that. They appreciate that uh, that I'm sharing information out there, that I'm providing content, that, you know, th that I'm staying abreast of the market trends. Mm -hmm. And um, so, so I feel like, you know, that content, distributing that type of content brings in the it creates word of mouth it creates reach and it brings in leads do you have a system for that how do you know that you need to follow up with someone because they ask me a question <laughs> <laughs> do you have, have, <laughs> they talk to me <laughs> or they give me their business card and i'm like shit i got 20 business cards on my desk <laughs> how do i get through them all <laughs> you don't have um, a crm and set follow-ups and so on What's that? You don't have a CRM right and set follow-ups? Mm -hmm. Not right now, but what I need to do is I need to be able to formulate what I do and train somebody else to do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the process. I'm not really in the process. I'm always in the process. So I'm, you know, it would be nice if I could just kind of like figure out what the hell I do do and then, and then uh, pass that off to another account manager, which I'm going to have to do. There's nothing. I can't. You know, I can't clone myself. I can train somebody. The process is, is great on the production side. New services, we have to, you know, for, create a formula so everybody can um, know what the hell they're doing. But, um, but yeah, I completely agree. I'd like to, like, within, even now, actually, I'd like to not be doing anything and have sales come in and, you know, new clients get onboarded and get their services provided to them in a quality, you know, in a mm. quality service provided to them and um, without me touching anything. That, I mean, that's, that's the goal for sure. Because then I can go to Vietnam, meet my cousins or, or whatever. And I can, I can still do that now. I mean, mm. obviously I can go wherever the hell I want, but, um, but I'm sticking still because I'm working with um, a nonprofit here doing some executive director work for them. Mm.